Good morning students. In this video lecture, we will continue our design of base plate with eccentric loading. Now this is your case 2 when the tension developed is small or you can say the E lies between L by 6 to L by 3. Now for understanding the design steps of this case, you need to see this diagram. This diagram. Now, we assume that the tension in the far side bolt is negligible so we are neglecting this part a to o so what we get here this is a stress distribution diagram we get a triangle now the eccentricity length is x by 3 distance from d and the distance from here to to the end is l by 2 so we need to find the value of x the value of x how can we find out you can see this from this diagram x by 3 plus e is equal to l by 2 so x by 3 plus e is equal to l by 2 so after rearranging we get the value of x this is the equation 5.14 now the next step is to calculate the width of base plate and that can be calculated by multiplying the area of stress triangle with width. Now we can see in this diagram we have to calculate the area of stress triangle. Now this is our perpendicular, this is our base values x and sigma c respectively. So we are putting the values half, area of half base and this is your perpendicular and width is b and the compressive force should be equal to the loading acting that is p so we put it equal to p and we can find the value of b b is the width of the base plate now you can alternately find out the value of p by putting the value of x in this equation that is 5.15 so you can directly find out the value of b but you need to mark this equation because in some cases the value of b can only be found out by finding out the value of x this concept will be clear in your numerical part and the third step is to calculate the thickness of base plate which we have calculated in the case 1 also by equating the moment of res resistance to the moment and finding out the thickness for the base plate. Now we will go to the numerical part here. Now here in case 2 means we are taking the similar ISSB 350 and the loading is 1100 kN but the moment changes to 120 kN meter so our first step will be finding out the eccentricity so eccentricity formula is m by p and putting the value of moment here and p is 1100 kN what we get here 109.09 mm that is the value of intensity now you have to assume 120 mm projection on each side you can assume any any value of your choice it can be 100 mm it can be 140 mm as per your choice now the minimum length with this projection can be 350 plus 2 into 120 and 350 is the length of the flanges because of ISSV 350 and 120 mm is the projection so the minimum length value is 590 mm now putting this value in E by L we get 1 by 5.408 now this E by L value helps in determining the cases whether the problem lies in case 1, case 2 or case 3 as the value is 1 by 5.408 
it lies between l by 3 to l by 6 and it become case 2 now in case 2 first step is to find the value of x and the x value can be find out by using this equation that is 3 l by 2 minus e now putting the values here value of l that is length 590 mm and e is 109.09 mm we get the value of x that is 557.73 mm now for finding out the width we can use this equation 2p upon x sigma c so value of p that is root 1100 power 3 and sigma c is 4 and x value is 557.73 so what we get here 986.14 mm you can take as 1000 mm so we providing a base plate of 590 into 1000 mm now we have to calculate the maximum compressive stress in concrete with the help of this equation that is 2p into x into sigma c now sigma c will be changed to sigma c max and the equation become 2p upon x into b why it become this because the minimum compressive stress is neglected at the farther end so we only we calculate only maximum compressive stress so putting the values of p here x value here and b value here we get the maximum stress 3.94456 newton per mm square now the next step is to find out the thickness so for finding out the thickness we have to identify the section xx that lies just outside the column flange here in this diagram this is section xx so this is our section xx and our maximum stress is 3.94456 and this value is neglected this part is neglected here this is value is 0 and the length from here to here is 557.70 mm and the shaded part that is the projection is 120 mm so we need to find this value and we can find the value by linear interpolation so equating this solving this by interpolation we get the value 3.0958 newton per mm square that is this value now we have to find the moment of this hashed area so 3.98 that is wl square by 2 and now this triangle and the area and it acting cg distance of 2 by 3 of 120 mm so solving this we can find out the value of moment that comes 26 363.808 newton mm and the moment of resistance equation is 1 by 6 into 1 into t square into 185 that is sigma bs and it will be equal for all the grids of steel now equating both the moment of resistance to the moment now here we are equating we can find the value of t and after solving this we get the value t 29.24 m approximately 30 m so our overall dimension of the base plate is 1000 into 590 into 30 m and in case 2 also nominal anchor bolt will be provided special anchor bolt design is neglected here